Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this session I will show you how I work with OpenShift. This is a beginner friendly tutorial to help developers get started with OpenShift. On my MacBook I have installed OpenShift Local, which lets me work almost like I am on production cluster. I have also installed Docker Desktop. To start we will create a basic microservice using the Spring Framework. This service will provide a simple API that returns Hello World. Then I will show you how to deploy it on the cluster. Here are the steps we will follow. We build an artifact for our Spring Boot microservice. Then we create a Docker image based on the artifact. And in OpenShift we create new projects and push the Docker image to the OpenShift image registry. After that, we use a deployment YAML file to create port for the application and set up service to route connections to the port. This is our simple Hello World microservice with a single endpoint. Let's build a jar file for it. In the project directory, we use the maven package command to build the application. As you can see, the JAR file has been successfully created. The next step is to create a Docker image based on the JAR file. For that, I prepare this Docker file. This is a standard Docker file to deploy a JAR file based on this image. We create this work there and we copy the JAR file into it and we expose this port and this is the command when the docker container is created. Now we run the command to create the image like this. Call our image service info. And as you see the docker image has been created. Now the next step is to push the docker image to our OpenShift cluster. So I am on demo project and we can check whether we have an image stream. There is no one. So first we will use this command docker tag. We specify tag for our image like this because it is required by OpenShift. So this is our image and we need to specify the registry we get the registry name when we specify the project or the namespace and this is the name of our docker image and now so we created a tag and using this command docker push we specify the full name of our docker image we specify the namespace the namespace is the same as the project so let's push and as you see, our image has been sent to the cluster. We can verify that using this command. And now we have the image on the cluster. So the next step is to deploy it. And for that, we will use a deployment YAML file. I have already prepared one here, this one. As you see, this is a standard one. Give a name for our application, my app. This is just label, replicates how many pods we will create. And this is the selector for our pod is my app, label the same. And the container, let's call it Spring Boot app and this is the image so let's adjust the name service info this is the port so this is the port port and this is not required so we can specify environments variable but it is not required in our demo and this is the deployment to deploy the application additionally i defined in the same file a service a service to route the connection to the port and as you see i'm using selector app my app so to recognize which port should be forwarded and as you see the port is 18 and and the target port on the container or the pod is 8080. And this is the type of the service I'm using node port. There is other possibility. In our demo, we use node port. So this is the file. All we need to do is to use this command or say apply F. So before doing that, let's verify that we don't have any port. So now no ports. Now after applying this file, apply F. 
and you see here deployment has been created and service as well let's check and you see pod has been created and it is ready status running you can also check the service so this is the service and we can use port forwarding to access our port from the local host machine we specify the name of the service and this is the port on my machine and the port on the service let's run this command and in the browser for example http localhost api info and you see hello world so in this demo we did created a spring bot microservice we created a docker image based on this application and after that we deploy it on our openshift cluster so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and bye